over a decade since the inception of Life Baker Group of Schools. Our vision has been very clear to be one of the top three schools in Africa. Our little beginning did not deter us, and we have been evolving over the years to be the total quality educational center with integrity based on the following cardinal goals. Knowledge, skills, discipline, and fear of God. In the school, we have qualified and dedicated teachers. Because that's the background of uh, education. The classroom was painted, and, and uh, there are various teachers painted on the wall, the professional teachers, like lawyer, doctor, you know, they were painted on the wall. Yeah, by the children, we learned through that. Not only that, even the floor and the equipment where the uh, children can play with the school, the primary school, we could keep with all this uh, material. We are by learning with the more ministry to the purpose. College has improved a lot in terms of facilities, right from the entrance of the college. The, the, the entrance to the college, the road to the college has been graded and the walls are beautified with various entrepreneurship pictures. That, that is from the, from the gate of the college. They are learning already. Then the tiling of the compound, the old floors of the compound right from ground floor to the last floor were tiled and made the school more attractive. Not only that, the teachers are also, they are qualified teachers. BSCB, they have education. I was brought up and bred by seasoned and experienced teachers who taught me how to be self-reliant and independent in ways, in many ways. One of which was, I was privileged to be among the to be part of the uh, fabric and fashion designing entrepreneurship program and many more. My experience in Africa is one I'll never ever forget. We have computer training for our students in the college. We also have for primary, but we extend that to college also. Because in the college, we have computer training for our students, even for the uh, external students. They come from outside to learn computer. Not only that, in the college, our students are being tested during their midterm test with CBT, that is the computer-based test. That, is, that, that means to make them, to prepare them for their exam. Because our school is a CBT center, computer-based center. We have about 300 computers. We are by all the students are able to be on their own. Individual will be on his own. It's not that one person will be sharing computer. No, we have more than enough. Personally, I, lo I love Nebuka because of there are a lot of computers in the school and we have access to everything. So it makes us really computer wise. Both in the college and primary, we have a standard cleaner. We call our own life day. Because we don't expect our children to go to It's supposed to be six days that we call it like the well equipped with medical instruments. Also, we have conference room in the college. Here we train our teachers. I can't recall the tenants to come and teach them. I can't, I carry out the training by myself so that the teachers will be, will be developing in day to day activities. It's not just to teach a lot. Attitudinal build up, character wise, how you organize your students, how you talk to them, how you relate to them. At Life Baker, all students, irrespective of their children area of discipline, must take two entrepreneurship programs. 
which computer is compulsory. Other entrepreneurship programs that are compulsory for our students are seen a conscious growth to move us to that desired place. The school has further developed in the following areas. Training and retraining of teachers and non-teaching staffs. Improved learning environment. A standby Mycano generator. Online student resort assessment through the school's website. Incorporation of Cambridge syllabus into the student's curriculum. The Advanced Learning Program that is targeted towards candidates who have written uh, exams like JAM, especially in Nigeria now, it's only UTME that is usually the major exams that conducted admission into various universities. And along the lines, such candidates could not make up with the required points expected for that course. So the only or the better alternative has been uh, the A-level program. And in Nigeria, we have the common and hold IGMB, which is Interim Joint Matriculation Board, moderated by Amadou University University, Zaria. And then JUPEM, Joint University Preliminary Examination Board, moderated by University of Lagos and other top federal schools. The advent of these uh, new programs are uh, invariably assisted and be of immense help to admission seekers in Nigeria. And, and through this program, students gain admission into federal uh, states and private universities. That's the other program. Some animals lay eggs and at the same time give birth to their young ones alive. Sometimes the eggs or the baby are born prematurely. When the baby gets mature. Uh, Cambridge a level and Cambridge O level. In Cambridge examination, we have two stages. For secondary school levels, for basically people in SS2 or 3 precisely, are uh, usually uh, enrolled for Cambridge AS, that means advanced subsidiary, for a year, a session. Then, as soon as they are done with the AS, that's the O level the enroll for Cambridge Advanced Level, which means that the Cambridge level runs for two years. Unlike the JUPEV IGMB that runs for one calendar session, that's one calendar year, 11-12 months, so the 10-11 months that gives admission into university. One more advantage uh, of the Cambridge A level is that it's, uh, it is much, it is quite advanced or much more advanced than the IGMB or JUPEV in that it's uh, is used internationally, especially in two universities in the United Kingdom and some others in Asian uh, countries. Uh, Cambridge examination, like I said, is an exam uh, that sees beyond preparing, like we have here in Nigeria, beyond uh, uh, having exams written, having classes done. Cambridge syllabus all, has it all encompassed that in a curriculum, we have um, the practicals, we have the, the, the teaching, learning mode, the study mode, yes, uh, and then other arrangements which are actually made to foster thorough understanding. Again, in the same vein, uh, the program itself is it's, it's, it's a noble idea here, and um, uh, it's invariably will see beyond what has been learned in the student's O level curriculum. It's like you are having a program that is a, is a bridge between the secondary school and the university. It gives them the edge and the mindset they are already prepared 
for university program. Outside that, like I said earlier, that the, one of the primary functions is that or, or purpose of the program is the program is done to present students for examination outside the year. Of course, anybody traveling out of the country now, especially to uh, the England, is expected to prepare or write exams, uh, Cambridge exams. Yes, the A-level program as it is here in Nigeria is becoming uh, uh, common. You know, it is run by several uh, inexperienced people at the roadside. You know, where people, where parents sometimes could be gullible enough to. Uh, part with their hardened cash. But here we have taken time to have uh, a total recruitment of uh, experienced personnel. Uh, and equally, the lecture materials and curriculum are well designed to suit the student's need. Radicals, demonstrations, workshops, and others are equally included so as to constantly encourage the students to perform well even perform and be at the peak of the academic careers. So, uh, rolling here in Libeka School is uh, an edge, is a privilege for every loving parent. The parents also deserve that his or her child is wanting a total quality education with integrity. And that's our work in Libeka. To further monitor the child's educational growth, the school introduced HVP, Home Visitation Program, to ensure parents get direct feedback from class teachers about their ward's performance. It's unique. Why? Because they're going to get first-hand information from parents, uh, most especially parents that do not have the privilege or opportunity to approach the school, maybe due to their work or due to their activity. Uh, coming to the people, coming to their doorstep to actually ask them what is their challenge, their problem, or whatever they might, their children might be encountering, or whatever they might have observed but do not have the opportunity to speak to the management. I believe via the home visit, they would have been able to get information about how better they can serve the people and also give people service for their funds. I have to give thoughts up to my program. It has really helped a lot in bridging the gap, the communication gap between we parents and the school. But so much achieved through the last session, we believe the next session will be an opportunity to move closer to our vision of being one of the top schools in Africa. Uh, precisely a month and a year and four months ago, when I gave back to my my daughter, she's not here now, she's with her mom. I did not make it official. The mom life baker surprised us. She surprised the Limbo's family by being present physically at the naming ceremony. Well, to her, it might not be anything, but to me personally, she really won my heart. So I would just like to digress a bit by communicating our local language. Mommy, eh, ni mo ko mi aye yin. Eh, je won mo pe lagbara Olorun. Gbogbo impact yin lori awon omo yi ko ni jasa san. Ki waju waju lo pe be ti mama resi. Eh, pe fun wa. Eh, pe fun wa. Eh, pe fun wa ni agbara Olorun. Mommy, once again I'm thanking you for that singular act. There are some schools whereby the proprietor or the proprietors they don't even give a damn about the well-being of the children at home or something like that. But due to that singular act of hers, uh, her place in my heart is so special. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, Life Baker, as a whole.